let's go beneath the cover of your book for a little bit, Lauren. Yeah. Um, so if we were to look underneath the cover, what was your inspiration to write? You know, um, <laughs> well, I've been talking about it for some time. And um, I remember sitting, uh, you know, talking. Um, I was talking about people that were around me now, you know, because I think it was um, in my uh I think I was in my late fifties when I started write the book and, um, and I was looking around me and, and I was wondering why did this kind of person inspire other people? You know, wh why did this kind of person seem to be an impact player? And, and, um, and so I was looking at this uh, and I, I, didn't, I wasn't looking at who made the most money or, you know, who uh, was had the biggest title. I was looking at people at all levels that seem to inspire others and have an impact. And then I was really curious around, I heard a presentation from a hospice nurse mm. and I heard her talk about being around all these people that were dying and the lessons that they shared. And, uh, and then there was some other uh, research that I ran into that were people that were quite elderly that were in their very last stages of their life. They weren't dying, but they were in last stages. And it was kind of the, the I wish statements or what I learned statement. And when you dug into what people that were high impact, high inspiration, lessons from the dying and from the aged, there was um, the affinity there around what I learned. And the short form of, of it was do it now, be kind and give more. You know, that was, those were the resounding themes. And like, you know, like for the elderly would, would wish, sometimes he'd say, I wish I would have done this. Why did I wait? Right. And then I found that the impact players and the inspirers, they didn't wait around a lot for, I mean, they, they didn't get analysis paralysis when they wanted to do something. They just started. Mm. They just did it now. And then the other things that were, were, were on the, that I noticed, and this sort of were, was around that for impact players and inspirers is that there, there, was, there were, was rarely a they. Mm. You know, they didn't depend on a they. I wish they would. If only that they would. <laughs> the they became, the first question they always asked themselves, what can I do about it right now? What can I do? Mm. How do I even advance it a little bit? Even the big problems, the big worldly problems. What can I do about it? Mm. And, 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 and I can change my mindset about it. I can reframe it or I can move something about it. I can do something. I can do something. And so that was the resounding kind of combination. So that became self-accountable. And the be kind thing was, you know, around the, the, the biggest impact people, you know, they kind of lived this Maya Angelou statement around the, how they made you feel versus how they, um, what you said. And so the way they were such good listeners, Catherine, and so respectful, they always made people feel like they mattered, like they cared. And so I don't think that, you know, self-accountability, respect, and abundance is the beginning and end of everything. Mm -hmm. I just think when those three things work as a core, it advances things for better, for, for the greater good of human beings, for organizations, for oneself. I'm going away. You know what? That's worth talking about, worth writing about. Totally. That's and, what I felt. And it's available on Amazon. Where's the best place to get it? It, it, it is, you know, and I kind of, um, it's now about, I guess, six years old, the book. So I think it, um, you know, I'm, it's kind of out of print and um, you can still get it. You could probably get it for 99 cents now on Amazon, but, <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> but, uh, but, uh, but I, you know, I, I think I, I want to refresh it, and I think still, I think it was maybe a little bit of um, a little early in its time, and I learned a lot about, and I'm sure that as you know, publishing is hard, right? Getting it out there is there's a lot of noise getting it out there. So, you know, there are probably close to ten thousand copies out there, which I feel pretty good about. But I, I would, I would love to. I, I, I don't know. I just feel passionate about the message and I, uh, you know, I wish I was a better communicator and writer and I could get it out more effectively. And I try to do it through my blog every two, uh, I blog as you know, twice a week and now doing podcasts like you are and, and, um, 
although I think your video casts are going to be better than my podcast, but, um, but the, um, uh, I like the, um, I, 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 I want to carry on with the message. Thank you.